today on Katie. It's the premiere of Katie's Challenge for Change with special correspondent Cameron Hughes. This is unbelievable. Arizona State students had just 12 hours to collect 1 million meals. Did they meet the challenge? All this week, experience the challenge and make a big change. This is Mark Kelly with an update on why Gabby Gifford's inspiring recovery. Plus, a very special performance from Julian Lennon. Someday. royalty, but he's forging a path decidedly all his own. His platinum debut album, Vila, and his hit song, Too Late for Goodbyes, proved he's genetically engineered to make great music, but there's so much more to him than that. Now he's back with his first studio album in 15 years, and we're so glad he is. So please welcome Julian Lennon. <laughs> Yeah, you Thank look you great, much. by the way. Thank you very much. Someone told me you were the big, I mean, I'm older than you are, Julian, so don't feel bad when I say this, but you're the big 5-0, yeah, is that right? Correct, yeah. Wow. I, I'm feeling probably more comfortable in life than I've ever done so before. Well, know. that's nice. Yeah, and no, it's I, a great I know place that, to be. That in 1998, you walked away from the music yeah. industry. Yes. Why did you do that? Well, I did that several times because I, I just didn't enjoy the business of the industry. I, I love the artistry of it. I like the writing and recording and working with people all the time. But, but the business of it, I just didn't like at all. Um, and the other thing was, I had a lot of other passions in life, and now you know I'm involved in photography a great deal, which is, which is absolutely, absolutely my number one passion at the moment. And in fact, I was able to look at some of your oh, you did. You some, stuff. some of great. your work, and uh, they're absolutely beautiful. Th thank you. I know one of the photos that you took was of Bono. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I, I think you titled it "Someone to Look Up To." Someone, yes. I literally sat down uh, and I looked up and thought. That's the shot. The photo that's behind Bob. Well, yeah, Dad, when he was about 17, when he, uh, I, I think he was in Hamburg at that point in time, yeah. And, of course, Bono was, uh, has always been a, a major fan of Dad's, and, you know, so, and I've always been a major fan of both of them. I know you're working on a documentary. Yes, that's true. And, and it really is all about... It's all about me. Women, <laughs> all about, it's all about you, but also... Oh. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was my understanding that this documentary was kind of an opportunity to answer questions uh, once and for all, I think, or, or to come to terms with everything that you've dealt with. Uh, the idea was I really didn't fancy, you know, doing the sort of uh, promo tour from hell around the world again for a year. And I, I just didn't want to do that. So I thought, well, what better way than to, to at least put something available to everybody at any point in time with a lot of answers in. Um, it's been a learning process for me, too, and, uh, and uh, some rediscovery in that as well. So I think it's... It'll be interesting for other people to see that side. Now that you're a grown man and, as yes. you said, feeling more comfortable in your own skin, yes. when you think about your dad, mm. what is the overwhelming emotion you feel, Julian? Well, I mean, it still saddens me that, that you know, that we didn't have an adult life together. Uh, but I certainly... Uh, and I don't think, obviously, he wasn't the best father in the world, that's for sure, at least not in my case. But, I mean, what I did learn from him was, uh, I feel at least, how, how to be a great musician, how, how to be a great songwriter. And, you know, I think he was changing later on in life. He was opening up and we were, you know, starting to get closer later on. So, you know, there's, there's forgiveness and there is love there, without question. Tell me about this music that you're, that you're now, you know, you're going back into the recording Instant studio. Me, yes. are, are you trepidatious about it? No. Are you excited? No, I don't give a monkeys anymore. <laughs> really? <laughs> well, no. You're honest. <laughs> uh, well, uh, you know, 
know, I, I'm just, I, I can't let other people's opinions weigh me down. It's just not a healthy way to live. You know, I've, I've released those chains uh, and, you know, again, as an artist, I just want to move on and move forward and be happy in life. And w with that, the way it used to be for me, uh, that was never the case. But now, you know, I, uh, I, I must. One of the songs is called Someday, and you wrote it with yeah. Stephen Tyler. And so he, he sings it with you on your yeah. album. But, and, and, and Stephen, unfortunately, isn't here today. No, he's not here. We're actually very excited that you are, though, Julian. <laughs> and you. you're going to sing it for us? Sure, sure. Right, right after this. Someday off his new album, Everything Changes, here's Julian Lennon. Amazon. We'll be back right after this. Nice. Let's look at